Verily, his command, when he intends a thing, is only that he says to it, be, and it is. On the one hand, Almighty Allah can allow extraordinary tribulations to surface. When he says, as recorded in the Holy Quran in these verses, be and it is, such as the abrupt arrival of a pandemic. And on the other hand, the verse be and it is also tells about the mercy of God, which is that he can cause exceptional cures to be made in record time. And thus, respected moderator, dear audience, this brief primer on the pandemic gets at the very timeline of the pandemic and how it was closely followed by a timeline of the science to tackle the pandemic. In this timeline, I will end with the present and pose questions about what is next. The timeline of the pandemic starts in December 2019. Where were you that month? I recall that I visited London for the Ahmadiyya Muslim Research Association of the UK conference to listen to an epic call for Ahmadis to go into science by the Khalifa. And unbeknown to me and the world, there was something big brewing in Wuhan, central China, when on December 31st, 2019, a mysterious outbreak of pneumonia cases were reported. And just over a week later, a novel coronavirus was publicly identified as the source of the outbreak. Coronaviruses are enveloped RNA viruses as shown in the cartoon on the bottom left that are so named because of their corona-like appearance. These viruses are the second most frequent reason for the common cold. But two weeks later, alarms started going off because this novel coronavirus was found to be greater than 95% similar to a virus in bats. That was concerning because bats were the animal vector in common for two other novel and dangerous coronaviruses in the last two decades. And they were SARS and MERS, and they had mortality or killing rates of 10% and 35% respectively. Would this emerging SARS coronavirus also be dangerous? What is shown in the photo are bats being sold in Chinese wet markets. And it turns out that the fears of health scientists were real. In January, human-to-human -human transmission was confirmed and the Wuhan lockdown began. In February, a cruise ship called the Diamond Princess Cruise was quarantined with new cases. And this allowed scientists to study the transmission rate of the virus for the first time. About this particular incident, an epidemiologist at Stanford University wrote, quote, cruise ships are like an ideal experiment of a closed population. You know exactly who is there and you can measure everything. 
What was determined was that the transmission rate was concerning. Also in February, the virus got its name, SARS-CoV-2, and the disease it caused was now called COVID-19. In March, the WHO declared the coronavirus outbreak a pandemic. And if leaders would listen, Imperial College London showed mathematical models warning that healthcare systems would be overwhelmed. Sadly, the US took the lead in COVID-19 infections. What is shown in the left diagram is a timeline of daily cases with virtually all initial cases reported from China in red color in early 2020. But as we approached the end of 2020, North America in green, followed by Europe in blue, took over the majority of cases. Similarly, on the right diagram, the US took the lead in the number of COVID-19 patients in the hospital as shown in the green tracing. And there were missteps to learn from. In March, 2020, the FDA pushed through the authorization of hydroxychloroquine for COVID-19 based on poorly constructed studies, only to find out in a well-designed trial that it was ineffective. In April, US public health officials finally advised people to wear masks, but this was late advice. We also wish we had known before April that asymptomatic carriers played a large role in the transmission of the virus. And it was thought that once you got COVID-19, you could be immune for a long time, only to identify in August the first confirmed case of reinfection, suggesting that long-term immunity is not guaranteed after recovery from infection. Well, that was the timeline of doom and gloom. But, all, but Allah, the Almighty says, be and it is, which here indicates the extraordinary speed at which there was a timeline on the science to tackle the pandemic. On December 31st, there was a mysterious outbreak. And in January, within two days of identifying a novel coronavirus, the genetic sequence of the virus was posted online. Just a month later in February, the atomic level structure of the spike protein was imaged, a story which will be briefly presented by structural biologist, Dr. Moyadeen Ovi today. In March, vaccine trials were launched. And in April, there was the first evidence that a vaccine could protect monkeys. We learned in June that a cheap drug called dexamethasone could reduce fatality rates by up to one third. And in November, Pfizer BioNTech followed a week later by Moderna revealed that each of their vaccines had 95% efficacy. We also learned early on, as shown in this telling graph of odds ratios or estimates on the risk of dying from COVID-19, that older age denoted in the red box was the strongest predictor of death even more than high risk medical conditions, which are shown below the red box. What we also saw in this timeline on the science to tackle the pandemic is that the race to the vaccine trials was intense and it was a healthy competition embodied in the advice of the Holy Quran to both compete with one another in good works. Dr. Nusrat Sharif will provide more details into a riveting story of how Pfizer, shown in light green in this graph, came later in the game and yet finished first. So fast forward to February 2021, and you might ask, what's next? 
Well, in World War II, after the Allies were defeated in initial battles by the Germans, in 1942, they saw a turning point more than halfway into the war. At that time, however, Churchill cautioned his people with these famous words, this is not the end. It is not even the beginning of the end, but it is perhaps the end of the beginning which is meant to say that for us, there may also be more chapters to go through in the timeline of the current pandemic. For example, there are emerging genetic variants of SARS-CoV-2 as shown in the top right diagram of a color-coded lineage tracing of variants, genetic variants in a study from the UK. When followed over the timeline of 2020, you can see that some variants seem to overtake others for some time. The concern is that when variants show aspects of this viral fitness, there is a potential for them to be naturally selected uh, to, uh, due to higher transmission or in causing a more prolonged or severe illness. And time will tell whether the SARS-CoV-2 variants escape the first generation of vaccines. At present, in the timeline, a global vaccination effort is underway and we have come a long way. I began the primer on the pandemic by sharing a verse from the Holy Quran from Surah Yasin, Kun Fayakun, be and it is, which is that Allah can allow pandemics to abruptly emerge and he can also cause them to quickly end through his grace and mercy. The timeline on the pandemic, the science of SARS-CoV-2, and the race to the vaccine are a story about suddenly facing great odds and working together to expeditiously uncover life-saving biology. There will be more scientific questions to solve as the timeline unfolds. This is the best time to be a scientist. And as I end, I ask you to recall where you were in the timeline of the pandemic in December 2019, when there was a mysterious outbreak of pneumonia in Wuhan. I was at the AMRA UK conference, listening to an address of the Khalifa to pursue a career in science as a method to understand the workings of God and to assist his creation, sometimes through dire problems. Hazur said at this conference, and I end with these words, consider it your mission, consider it your mission to pursue excellence within your chosen field, develop a greater understanding of the world and develop new technologies or systems through which humanity can benefit. Jazakala for the time wa akhir dawana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin